Hey guys, so I'm in my kitchen and I'm, this is as far as I've gotten today. My, <laughs> oh well, uh, but I need to make dinner and I'm kind of having a lower end of a bad day, uh, but I'm able to get up and walk around and stuff. But anyway, I need to make dinner. So because I'm not feeling all that great and don't really have mm, the functions of my arms and hands, they're not cooperating so much. So I thought, well, I would share my cheat sheet thing for making beans. Um, the, here, where'd they go? Is, uh, <laughs> here's the great little thing that I use. They're onions and celery and red peppers, green peppers, and some parsley flakes. Now I do have some fresh parsley that I'll add later, but I put that whole bag into, let's see, yeah, the pot here, come here, I'll show you, this is it. And those are my, after they're done, I've um, sauteed them uh, with some regular butter, unsalted, and then now we'll go rinse the beans. We'll just put the whole 20 ounce bag in. I needed to make sure it was, uh, something small enough, you know, the little holes right here, oh shoot, the little holes, um, so that the, these little guys, the lentils, wouldn't fall in there, fall through. Common sense. But I've, <laughs> common sense, but I've made that mistake before. I'm giving them a really good mix. This is just normal preparation, of course. So, I'll fast forward through this. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, we put in some black pepper. You like the pepper? some onion powder, some Italian seasoning, okay, and my garlic slicer that I use for everything like carrots and celery and stuff when I feel like I can do a little bit more. Fresh garlic. Rubbish bowl. One clove. What do you call a whole thing of garlic? Is it a clove? And then so what are these little guys? I mean, I, other than I plant them, you know, to grow. But what are they? Hmm. Three. Big old pizza cutter. Because what I do is... Oops. There you go. <laughs> so I can peel them a little easier. Okay. There's I'll just cut a little root thing off. I don't know why. I, I could just throw it in there, but it's a habit. <laughs> Pop them into the garlic slicer. See? Then the mixed paper, then garlic slices. Since my and so my shoulders are burning and hurting today. Nice. 
just a couple little bits in there. Set it too close to the oven one time. <laughs> That's a little much. And the water. And we only use distilled water in our cooking and drinking. I always I bought these bottles at the Dollar Tree store and I love them. And once we get we distill our water and then fill these up. Fill up the ones that we've purchased that have a nice screw top and a BPA, but I'm gonna switch to glass to store my water. And we put about, oh, I don't know, 10 cups or so. Cover in the pressure cooker, which is what I'm gonna use for the settings tonight is important not to fill it past the halfway mark but you got to give enough because there's no you know we didn't soak them so um it's about a inch or two above the beans but not past the halfway mark and that's because the beans froth and foam so that's all we do lid goes on now let me take it down to show you how this works Ah, there we go. So, we turn on the top, seal the lid, seal it. Same, unsealed, sealed. Then, we come down here, we hit beans. We consult the thing, because I haven't learned everything by heart yet. <laughs> and, um, I can't remember. Um, High pressure, 20 minutes, I'm gonna that, I think it goes. Huh. huh. Well, we'll just go by that, 20 minutes. Doesn't that seem awfully quick? I don't remember that. Anyways, high temperature, right? Timer, you can, change, you can adjust it and change it. <sighs> Let me double check you guys, I'll be right back. Um, I looked it up and I double checked and it should be done for 30 minutes. Now, I um, didn't have the camera on. I'm talking to y'all. Uh, I put in a little bit of the of the cayenne pepper, um, um, maybe a half a teaspoon. And I also like the um, paprika. Um, now, this is the mixed beans. Oops. Paprika. Is that? There you go. And um, put, oh, a fair amount, um, probably a teaspoon. Um, and I also want to say I put um, uh, more than more water than we'll say um, like for pinto beans. If I was doing pinto beans and ham or something, then I would do not as much water, maybe like five cups. But I think I was closer to eight, eight cups. I think I said ten earlier, but that would be too much. So let's get this started. And in half an hour, it'll be. Soup, bean soup. Oops. And voila. So we'll come back here in a minute. Or 30. <laughs> here we are. Mmm. Good consistency. And yumminess. Be really good. Over some rice, or by itself, over some cornbread, or you know, chunk up some, if you're into meat, which we're not, you can chunk up some meat in there, yummy, freeze it, whatever, looks great, looks really good. 
smells delicious. Dinner time.